What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be checking out the T669 USB Studio Condenser Microphone from Fine Technology. Oh, that was a mouthful. Before we do get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Fafine for sending this out to me to check out. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. So as we open up the box, the first thing we notice is the pop filter that's included. If you're not too sure what a pop filter does, it basically eliminates the popping sound from fast moving air from recorded vocals, which is really handy. Next up is just a small little bag of accessories for the pop filter and shock mount cradle. Here we have the shock mount cradle that connects to the boom arm and actually has a really nice weight to it. Next up is the C clamp that connects to the desk if you wish to utilize the boom arm. And if you don't want to use the boom arm, this is the included tripod that you can just sit on your desk with the microphone on it. Here's the microphone sock and the USB cable, which actually has a nice length to it. Here is the boom arm, which doesn't need much explaining, but it does feel really sturdy, which is great. And last but not least, we have the T669 USB Studio Condenser Microphone. And by the feels of this knob here as well, it actually feels really sturdy, which is fantastic. And just down below is where you obviously plug the USB cable into. Now that we've unboxed the microphone and seen what's included with this kit when you do buy it, I'm going to show you how the microphone sounds, but I'm going to show you in two different contexts of how you can use this microphone. Now because my channel is based around guitar covers and anything guitar related, I'm going to show you how this microphone goes picking up an acoustic guitar. Then secondly, I'll be showing you how well it can pick up my voice. So now that you've heard how the microphone sounds in the context of recording an acoustic guitar, what I'm going to do is show you how well it goes picking up my voice. At the moment you can hear my voice being picked up through my camera's microphone. Because what I'm going to do is actually show you guys how you can uh, install the microphone onto your computer and get it all set up with your door. Um, so essentially the the real handy thing with this is, with the USB that's included with the microphone, it actually has all the drivers needed for the microphone, so you don't have to do any excess downloading or um, go out of your way to download different drivers before you can actually set the microphone up, which is fantastic. So as soon as you plug it in, basically all you've got to do is go to your um, door's preferences, you go to audio, at the moment I'm currently using Logic Pro X. Um, and as soon as you see input device, you just click on that and there should be a option saying USB PNP audio device. So you click on that and then hit apply and that is pretty much all set up for you. So now that that's all done and all set up ready to go, we're going to jump over to the microphone and see how this goes picking up my voice. So now we've jumped over to the T669 microphone. Uh, I have it set up on this tripod at the moment just to show you how versatile this volume knob is. So essentially having this volume knob on the microphone eliminates the need for a recording interface which is really handy. Basically all you got to do as I showed you setting up the microphone in Logic, all you need is just the, the USB cable, plug it into the back of your computer and you're good to go which is really really handy for anyone who's just traveling and just wants to I guess either use this for streaming or even just record vocals which is super super handy. So at the moment we'll, we'll turn the volume knob all the way down so obviously you won't be able to hear my voice and then we'll start gradually increasing the volume just to see how loud it can get before it starts clipping. So as I gradually start turning it up it is at nine o'clock now the more and more I start turning it it's I'll turn it up to noon 12 o'clock, further and further I push it, obviously it's starting to clip just a little bit now and obviously that is at 3 o'clock now and I don't want to 
ruin you guys ears so as you can see it you can get quite a lot of uh, volume out of this microphone which is fantastic but now that I've shown you that I'll chuck it onto the boom arm now and we'll see how well it works with the boom arm So now we've got it set up on the boom arm, which is pretty much how I would be using the microphone going forward. Um, I'm really impressed with how sturdy this boom arm is. It is actually, you can maneuver it quite well, which is fantastic. Uh, it's really, really, I guess, stiff as well. So it doesn't feel loose whatsoever. The only, I guess, I wouldn't say downside, but the only thing I wish it would have included was with the C clamp that connects to the desk. I wish there was a rubber, um, I guess a rubber stop on the actual like clamp itself uh, where the screw is just so obviously it doesn't slip around but to be honest with you that's just me nitpicking that's an already amazing piece of equipment but pretty much with the boom arm as well it's fantastic that you can actually still control the volume while it's in the shock mount cradle which is awesome so you're not really restricted from having to preset the volumes and then hope for the best but everything seems to work really really well which is awesome and basically this is with the let me just turn the volume up just a little bit more for you but pretty much this is the volume is at uh, I'll put it at noon and obviously with the pop filter in front of it it's super super handy I'm not too sure if you can hear too much of a difference but it's really really handy to have this pop filter and it obviously comes with this sock as well well I'm gonna call it a sock but I don't really know the technical term if you guys know the technical term for this leave it in the comments below honestly overall with the price that you pay for this kit you can't go wrong there's literally very little to fault um, with this kit, which is fantastic. Now, with all that being said, I just want to give a huge shout out again to Fine Technology for hooking me up with this microphone. It's been an absolute blast having it here with me in the studio. It's been super, super handy to have around. If you do want to pick up one of these microphones for yourself, I'll leave all applicable links down below in the description. And if you do want to see me review any other microphones from Fine, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. But other than that, if you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave it a like and comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you are new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on as I do post videos weekly. And I'll see you guys in my next video.